Hello everybody, GamerPenny here, bringing you another episode of our Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play. And we are back with Vesper and the gang. Let's continue on here. Let's have a look. Who killed all these animals around here? But that will fit in my pack. Take the bone. Breathe deep and move. We are continuing on where we left Curse, off. My hands on everything. To the Shadow Curse Lands. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? You are about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. No. They cannot mature in the astral. I will only be welcomed once I obtain a mind flayer's head. I actually want to go back to camp. Talk to Elminster Armor. Something's on my mind. Ah, there you are. Now, I hope you don't mind my having ingratiated myself into the most palatable graces of your provisions. You find me quite sated indeed. Mmm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. <laughs> a good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see... I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. We're sent here by an as an actual divine messenger. Um What message and what charge would that be? The long awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, for the too long awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so. You're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Um, the goddess herself is aware. I wouldn't say no to some di divine intervention. The very purpose of my presence. In a roundabout sort of way. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Gale alone? How so? The old. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. 
We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. You're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. Mm. With that, I've said my sorry piece. The need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra Mistra Ariel Italior Thras Annas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the skies strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Interesting. Gail, you okay? An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. Um... He didn't seem much of a friend showing up and demanding you kill yourself. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As Mistress Chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him... The severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is... Find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. So that's it, you're on a suicide mission now. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes, I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. You're not blowing yourself up, Gale. I won't let you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Interesting. Okay. Um, no one else wants to talk.
Where is Lazoo? Down here. What is this? Magic mirror? Alright, Lazale. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Hmm. Wait for me in camp. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? Not arguing. Remain here. As you say, do not keep me waiting. Okay, and then we're gonna get Shadowheart back. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Okay, and she gets to level up. Level six cleric. Hey. Okay. Up that. All right, I think we're good to go now. Um, let me take a look at I completed. Um, is there anything? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Moonrise Towers. Ooh, we didn't do this. Find the knights on. We didn't do that. Okay, let's leave camp. For oh, short rest. Going. Leave camp. I th think this takes us to Act 2, to be honest. Someone in the comments said, until you go to the shadowy land, follow the mountain pass. The actual prison, we don't want to do that. I mean, I'm ready, I think. <laughs> I think I'm ready. We've been- I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. <laughs> and waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. Um... Leave. Should we go through this? Let's do an F5 real quick. Yes. We've done it. We're at campsite.
Can't leave camp. I guess let's go to bed. Uh oh. Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkakath! I should run you through for suggesting it. Are you talking about the person inside? You know who that is. If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the Prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Hmm. Madness! He flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. Um, Lacus led you astray, I believe him, and so should you. I served Flacket the whole of my life, learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sherlock. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Mm. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo.
Interesting. Ally with Voss against the if Yankee. Okay. Um can I leave camp yet? No. Can I go to bed? Oh, someone in camp still wishes to speak to me. Boom. Of course, it's Lazo. Vlakith cost seven hearth crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Hmm. Um, who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. But Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. And if Voss is Ron, if his claims are Ron and Vlakis are real? Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. What does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, city of death. We are honored with an eternal home in the astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. Ross called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. All right. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Okay. Shadowheart doesn't want to speak. All right, let's go to bed. Everyone's back up and about. Can I leave camp now? Yes.
Leave Act 1 for somewhere altogether darker. Oh, uh oh. We are in Act 2 now. This is no typical gloom. We need to stay alert. Ah, uh, are you the true soul? Who wants to know? I'll take that as a yes. Listen up, grab a torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Torch. Can I put that on? Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. You guys okay if I just walk ahead with this torch? You have no weapons on? Yeah, you have weapons. Salutations. So do you. So do you. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, where are we going? Over here. Find the cultist camp. With haste. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. So what does all this mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> A pile of belongings forsaken to the curse so that their owners could escape with their lives. Get to Baldur's Gate. An old map of a druidic style of what appear to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. Can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Okay. by the shadow curse bet he was pure tasty you're the true soul we're taking to moonrise i'm guessing i was sent here by another goblin how do you plan on getting me through this cursed darkness don't worry boss you're in good hands we've got a guide talk to Kansif inside he'll run through it One last thing, go and fetch the bone you threw. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> dang. Uh, we'll do thanks. Anything for a true soul. Put in a good word for me at Moonrise, eh? Hey? Someone out there. Okay, I'm going to put this back on because I'm scared. <laughs> we should bloody well hurry up then. I swear the shadows are getting closer. Answer. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? I have a liar. It used to belong to a drow. Good. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tune, and our guide will come scuttling. Pluck a tune. Uh oh. I want to re-roll. There we go. Where's my liar? Them, your majesty, calling us their god and their guide together. God, a drider. I always thought the stories were exaggerated. Greetings, and the absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to her true soul. Okay. Hello, Carnus. And you? What are you? More faithful of the absolute. They need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice. The Absolute. Or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. to leave take me to moonrise very well gather the flock bless us again majesty shine your light protect us come follow and stay close do not leave the light do not feed the shadows you heard him move out that dried as mad as a box of grimishkas then again, you'd have to be mad to spend your days marching through this gloom. Okay. They should stay closer, my queen. They should stay in light. Unless they want to become shadows. Patience. Let us try 
Harpers are clearly enemies of the Absolute. They could be worthwhile allies. But defend the guide and you may preserve your cover as a true soul. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> Attack the Drider. No, I don't know. Do I want to be a true soul or what? Turn on the caravan and attack the drider. What are they doing? We thought they were true souls! Traitors! Aliens! Critical miss. Perfect. No miss. Okay. Get this guy out the way. That was for the dog. <laughs> End your turn. Ow! Important die. Okay, um, we're going to do this over to this guy. Should we do the ward companion first? Do it over there. Okay, got rid of the ward companion. Good. End your turn. Guard against the darkness. Ignis! You will die here. The absolute wills it so. Got a dagger. Okay, I'm gonna go jump right here. Can I go right? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? And then, attack this. 128! Cannot harm. Sanctuary. Okay, I get this guy instead. Alright, just end your turn. Talk to me. Um, spiritual weapon. Let's get... Trident right here. Then do guiding bolt. Cannot harm sanctuary. Um just end your turn. Oh I forgot about the other guy over there. I should have hit him. Not harm sanctuary. Go get this guy instead. Your turn. Firebolt this guy. Nice. And then vampire bite that guy. Happy now. <laughs> Good. In your turn. 
What was that? Okay. Gale. What is this? Another East Orb Blast. Oh. Well, we gotta make sure we don't use that. Or die. Good. Your turn. Good. All right. Hit. Hit. Action surge. Hit. Hit. Ah. Well, we got some good hits in there. Um, guiding bolt on you. Yes. Okay. Your turn. Miss. All right. Can you fly over here and hit this guy? Not enough movement. Okay. Can't get in there. Ow! Stop it! Sanctuary. Dang it. Arrest them? Cannot harm. I just end your turn. Let him recite their demise. Alright, we are gonna jump over here. Don't hit me. And we're gonna run up here. Our path lies before me. Our turn. My faith will protect me. You. Do a little bit of a heal. Take your heal. And your turn. Alright, get that sanctuary off of him. Spiritual weapon, can you do something? I can't hit him. And turn. Sanctuary is gone. Who are you after now? That's fine. This is right. Okay. Can you finish him off? Very good. Grab this. Grab that lantern. 7 to 21. Cruel sting. Incredible. A light that chases away even the deepest shadows. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. Hey, I wanted that. You don't move a god's damn Whoa. muscle. Talk. Why in the hells would a cultist turn on his kind? The pin the woman wears is familiar to you. She belongs to the Harpers. A covert organization dedicated to freedom and balance. Um... I couldn't bear the atrocities committed in the Absolute's name. Of which there have been many, I assure you. I'm glad you've broken free. You must rest. Come. I will take you to Last Light. Last Light? Tell me more. An inn, at first glance. But also a safe haven. Free from the curse's tendrils. Or so it's been promised. Lead on, then. Stay close, and be wary of the shadows. I'll mark your map, should the way be lost. Okay, but I wanted that lantern. What 
What's hiding here? Okay. On my way. You come back. The dark lady shields me. Something's wrong. I feel weak, drained. Exit turn base mode. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, reload. Oh, are you serious? way they went. Reach last light in. Let's try this way. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> That's the last save that we have. I don't know where they went. They left without me. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. <sighs> that might be worth a look. No time to waste. I think I'm gonna have to reload. Where'd Vesper go? Alright. Let's reload at the campsite. Okay, we'll have to redo that again. It shouldn't be a problem. It was easy in the first first place anyway. So um, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. And then in the next episode, we'll just redo what we had to do. Um, so guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.